Low fertility rates, an aging population, and a shrinking labor force may threaten China's future economic stability. Almost 15 percent of Chinese are now more than 60 years old, and that portion of the population is expected to grow. China is taking steps to encourage a second baby boom, but would-be parents say they need more support. CCTV's Grace Brown explains. These are the faces of China's future. Chinese women retire as early as 50, and men as early as 55. I don't want anything other than to maintain my quality of life, health insurance, and pension. To ease the growing burden of pensions, the government is considering raising its retirement age by one month every year. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, by 2030, one in four Chinese will be over the age of 60, putting an unprecedented pressure on this society, with some experts warning that China could be the first country in history to get old before it gets rich. And it's young Chinese who are most affected. I think it's a serious problem. Our nation must consider it to prepare pensions for so many seniors. I'd like to retire at 60, but I know I can't. There's no other way. A key cause of China's aging population was the one-child policy. Population expert Zheng Zhenzhen says China will now age faster than it will develop. We have lowered the, the mortality and fertility before we're getting rich. It is ahead of economic development. However, I think China has the ability to cope with it if we made in time made the uh, response. Last year, China relaxed its one-child policy, allowing couples in which one parent is an only child to have two. But the government only received one million applications in 2014, half the number it had expected. Professor Zheng says career pressure is causing would-be parents to hesitate. Workplace is not so friendly to, to mothers. <laughs> it, there, there's not so much facilities for child caring and, and it's not so friendly for women to be excused from office hour to take care of their children. If we wish to have more children born, then the whole society and the companies and the uh, states need to consider to create a, a child-friendly environment. Yun Na is a working mom and due to have her second child in two months. But she worries about balancing work with being a mother. I grew up alone, so I always wanted two children. Two is definitely harder to manage. My husband and I both work. I can't afford to quit my job, so the only way is if I continue going to work and my parents come to care for them while I'm out all day. As China confronts an ever-graying population, it's likely further action will be needed to encourage more parents like Yun Na in the future. Grace Brown, CCTV, Beijing.